Hey, good morning guys, Tesh coming at you. 11.40, Tuesday, December the 19th, and uh, back on the, uh, the nose patch this morning. And we're just about to get ready to uh, grind that down, so that'll be the first thing we do this morning. Uh, then we were taking a look at uh, what I need to do as far as attaching the inner uh, flange patches. So this one needs a lot of uh, a lot of repair. So we'll have to figure out how to uh, go about that. Um, I don't have my shrinker stretcher. Uh, I actually never had one. I had borrowed that from a buddy of mine who's since moved away. So uh, haven't uh, invested in a new one yet. Maybe that would be a good Christmas present for myself. So we've got these two flanges to be concerned with. I think because it's a uh, relatively warm day outside today, we're probably going to take this outside and give it a good uh, media blast um, just to clean up all the old paint off this. So we're going to uh, have to repair this flange as well and extend that upwards. So that'll be the uh, secondary plan for uh, this morning after we grind that uh, nose piece down. Maybe we'll flip back to the rear of the car and get this uh, flange attached onto here. So that's it for now guys, we'll uh, take you along the way and we'll give you updates uh, as required. Alright guys, just wanted to give you a quick look of those uh, drip channels uh, sandblasted clean. So they uh, came up not too bad. So uh, we're definitely going to cut this flange off and uh, weld a new flange on there to uh, make it as high as the uh, outside flange. So we'll do that on that piece. And I did clean up this channel as well. That's looking not too bad. Got to do a little trimming up the front. You can see some brazing up there. And obviously we've got to replace this flange as well. So uh, this one's obviously going to be the more difficult one. But uh, let's start it on the rear one first and we'll uh, try to gain some confidence along the way. Alright guys, I've just marked out the uh, back side of this uh, bracket here that we're going to cut. I'm trying to keep this one hole for reference. I believe this is a drain hole. Um, for it to drain back down through the uh, inner sill. So uh, we're going to try to keep that as a reference point. The rest of it we're just going to cut out and uh, we'll put a new flange in there. So here we go. and onto the new flange. Alright guys, quick update for you. We've got that uh, flange now welded to this uh, gutter piece and we've done a quick uh, fit check to make sure it still fits in there well and it does. So we've just cleaned up the edges. We're just getting ready to uh, sort of weld it in. We have the back side of this zinc prime. We're going to zinc prime this. We're obviously going to clean up the welds first before we weld it in there. We're also going to create some holes in this outer flange for some plug welds to uh, hold this in place once we get it welded. So anyway, that's what we're up to. Just thought I'd give you a quick update. We'll get to grinding that down and cleaning that up. Obviously, we want to make that look the best as possible because this is going to be visible on the inside. So we'll try to clean that up as best as we can. Alright guys, quick update for you. It's just coming up to uh, 2.15 and uh, we've got that pretty much welded in now. I do need to uh, clean up some welds here. Uh, I've got to get my little Dremel disc in there. But for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. Obviously we need to do some work here still. But we're going to wait to finish that until we get this other piece of metal in the middle. And we'll do some work where it butts up against this piece here. So I think what we'll do now, after we take a break, is we'll come back and we'll start working on this front piece. So uh, as I'd mentioned previously, I've got the, uh, the piece sandblasted already. It's over here on my messy bench, here it is. So uh, we'll do the same thing, we'll uh, 
create a new flange on this guy and uh, clean it up and then we'll fit it up and weld it in. Hopefully it goes that easily. Alright guys, we've uh, separated that flange from this uh, drip channel and we're just about to start doing some repairs. So we're going to repair this little area on the nose first of all. And we need to put a uh, end piece back on it at some point to attach it to the front valence. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll start repairing this uh, little uh, piece with a bite out of it and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, quick update for you. It's about uh, 5.30 and uh, we're making good progress on that nose patch uh, with the drip channel attached. We just got it sort of tacked in there. So we're in the process of just going through and uh, welding it up solid. So uh, we'll take our time while we do that and uh, we'll come back when it's finished. Alright guys, we've got the new uh, flange made, nose patch, whatever you want to call it. The only thing I need to do now is finish the front end of it. So I've got this little tab that comes across and joins up with the uh, the front valence here at the top. So I've got to extend this down, make a little flap that I can spot weld to this spot here. So we're going to do that now. And as you can see, this flange is significantly higher than it needs to be. So I'm going to trim it down before I grind it. I'm going to trim it down to the edge of the uh, outer flange. So you can see how much extra we have there. I wasn't too concerned about the height, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. So anyway, we're going to mark this while we've got it on here. We've got it sit right properly with the uh, channel here where we cut it. So we can mark that and we can cut that down a little bit before we uh, permanently fix it. Obviously we're going to need to drill holes for spot welds as well. Same as we did for this guy. But uh, we're getting closer to finishing that front part. Alright guys, this uh, flange piece is just about done. There's the, uh, the nose piece done. That fits up the uh, front basically and attaches to the front valence. So we just uh, created that. Haven't, uh, haven't ground it down but probably won't anyway. Anyway, it fits on this little pedestal here and it gets spot welded to that. So I think we're pretty much ready to uh, weld this in. We're just going to give this a coat of uh, zinc primer. I've already got the uh, zinc primer on the inside flange. We'll give the back of this uh, a coat of zinc primer. We've got to drill some holes for those spot welds and then get, we'll go ahead and weld it in. Alright, everything's in place and uh, looking good. So uh, we're just going to start the uh, plug weld procedure. And we'll weld this solid all the way along. Then we'll weld this uh, rear flange together. And then we've got the uh, spot welds to do with the front foot. And that'll be it for the front section. And that'll just leave us with the middle section to do. So quite the uh, process. A lot of work, a lot of hours just spent in this little area. So uh, anyway, had to be done. All right, guys, I'm happy to say that that uh, front flange is now welded in solid including a couple spot welds here at the front need to clean up this flange just got to get another uh, dremel bit can't get a regular grinder in there so uh, we'll clean that up later the uh, the nose of this still needs to be trimmed down but uh, I'm gonna leave it uh, proud until I know exactly where I want to trim it so we've just left it there for now so the next thing to do is to uh, work on the middle flange from here to here and you can see that we're just about a, a quarter inch strip or so we need to put in and uh, we're probably going to use our 16 gauge metal for that we're going to cheat a little bit because there's no double flange here as I'd mentioned these ones are double flanges obviously this is a single whatever the previous owner did I don't know he just put a single plate in here and welded this channel down the bottom so anyway I can't fix that so I'm going to have to fake it and uh, like I said, we'll probably use a piece of 16 gauge across the top to bridge this gap. So we'll probably take a break for dinner. It's a uh, quarter to eight and uh, maybe we'll get out here and try to at least tack this piece in before the night is out. All right, guys, just uh, back from dinner break. It's about 8.30. We'll put another hour or so in and uh, we'll try to make this piece. So we've got a piece of 13 gauge sitting over here on the, not 13 gauge, 16 gauge sitting over here on the floor so we're going to make that piece out of the uh, 16 gauge <clears throat> so we're going to uh, cut that piece and we'll put it on there and tack it up and uh, obviously the important thing is the inside we want to make sure that it looks good on the inside we don't care so much about the outside I don't know how many times I've said that but uh, that is the case anyway uh, I have an option of uh, cutting this lower below these holes here 
or just leaving it. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm not sure if these holes are in the correct locations. If they're not, I'll just plug them and drill new holes. So the metal is pretty solid though, so uh, I think we're pretty good to just uh, go on top of this uh, flange here and just move it up a little bit. We'll make it a little taller than required as per usual and then we'll grind it back down. Alright, we've just got the new uh, flange strip clamped in there and we've just run a line because this is not a straight line, it's actually got a bit of a curve to it. So we just scribed a line and now we're going to get the, uh, probably just the angle grinder out and we'll grind down to that line to make a nice tight fit and then we'll uh, tack it in. Alright guys, there's a look at the uh, piece ready to be welded in. I just have one uh, little dilemma. I need to uh, grind down the inside flange and I'm actually going to have to need to get inside the car I think to uh, weld this properly as opposed to sort of bending over. Um, so I think that's going to entail me trying to get into this little hole in here. <clears throat> that should be interesting. I'm uh, not going to film it because I don't think this is going to be very graceful uh, if I can get in there at all. It's pretty tight. Uh, obviously somebody like uh, little uh, Ellen could get in there but uh, I'm a little bit bigger than Ellen and uh, it's going to be a tight squeeze to get in there and get up and work. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. If you don't see me, call 911. I'm stuck. Can't get out. Alright guys, 935, final update of the night. I was going to try to get this thing welded all the way in but uh, I'm pretty tired and I'd probably be better off to uh, just go at it tomorrow morning. So uh, just a quick look at that flange tacked in there. I think it looks pretty good. You can see that all the way along there. Obviously it needs to be uh, ground down to the level of the other flanges, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. It fits in there well. I have uh, <clears throat> was very careful to get that lining up on the inside quite well, So, and I think I've done that all the way along. So, uh, yeah. So, I guess you can't really see that because of the light. Anyway, there's the tacks. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy with that uh, day's work today. We will uh, get out here again tomorrow and we'll finally be able to finish this uh, flange off and move on to something else. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, guys. Uh, we'll get back out here tomorrow and uh, we'll see you then. Good night.